the Joe Rogan experience. But pumas are, you know, an established animal. To, to have, like, some cryptozoological creature like Bigfoot that's undetected. But it's fun. It's fun. I it want to believe. Yeah. But I don't really. Well, that's like in the ocean. Like, they find some big fish, to, you know, or some big... <laughs> Yeah. Well, like extra, like some, and you're like, I don't know, dude. We never knew it was down there. The compelling, there's two. Well, don't co- they think aliens could live in the ocean? So, I mean, yes. that's how much. That was Jeremy Corbell was talking yeah, about yeah. that the other day. That they, um, you know, it's hard, it's hard to say, like, what kind of information he's getting, how accurate it is. But they're basically saying, think about the movie Abyss, where the aliens lived underwater. He was like, that's probably what's going on. Yeah. That there's some sort of alien base underwater or some meeting place where that's where they hide. That's where they go to be undetected. Do you think you're going to see it in your lifetime? Bigfoot or aliens? Aliens. Like, uh, you know where it's like, oh, like we have to like talk to them now. We have well, to like interact with them. There are, there's a video that is impossible to ignore. There's some things that are impossible to ignore. And then there's eyewitness testimonies of people who are rock solid, totally dependable, like fighter pilots yeah. who have seen some things. Like uh, the best example is this guy, Commander David Fravor, who was off the coast of San Diego in 2004. And this is corroborated by multiple points of data. They uh, had this um, this tracking system that tracks things above Earth's atmosphere, and they found this thing went from above 60,000 feet above sea level to 50 feet above sea level in less than a second. They have no idea how it's doing this. They have, they have no idea. There's no method of propulsion that's visible. They followed this thing. They locked onto it. It blocked their radar. It blocked their tracking systems, rather. And then it jetted off at an impossible rate of speed. And then the Nimitz uh, relocated this thing at their cat point. The cat point is where the fighter pilots, when they're doing this uh, test, they're doing this uh, exercise, they were supposed to meet at this very specific point, and that's where this thing had gone. Like, this thing had read their their manifest and knew, like, or read their or their plans and knew where they were going. What's well? That, that is way more compelling to me than Bigfoot. The Bigfoot thing is just fun, but the alien thing is fun and likely. There's something going on. And so I go back and forth. Sometimes I think... It, maybe it's some sort of government drone that's like so sophisticated and they're, they, you know, they it's totally top secret. And if we ever go to war with China, that's when they're going to break it out. And then sometimes I think what they are is something that's monitoring us and making sure we don't blow ourselves up, making sure that we we make this journey from territorial apes with thermonuclear weapons into some sort of an advanced intergalactic society and that there's a very crucial moment where the instincts of these tribal people, which is all of us, all human beings, are these tribal territorial people, where you have to keep them from sabotaging any possible future progress by blowing themselves up, by killing each other, by what if we talk to them the and then they and then, then when you say that they go, yeah, that was it. Is that easy? <laughs> like, not that easy, but like, you just go, is that it? You go, yeah, that's about it. We're yeah. trying to keep you guys that's from blowing it. yourselves up. This is like, yeah. But maybe that's like the natural thing that you see. Like when civilizations advance, like there's a very precarious moment where like they have the capability of blowing themselves up, but the reason and the logic to not do it. But they also have these instincts to control resources and take over territories. They still have those instincts. But they have to bypass that. They have to figure out how to. And so that's when aliens start circling and, and just keeping an eye on us. Yeah. Because this is that. That's the primary. I mean, that's what you would hope, right? Instead of like them attacking us. Yes. Because then so. I think if they were going to attack us, they would have already done it. Like, like, if they really could do all those things, they could probably take out our power grid pretty easy. Apparently, they they the the stories are that they're able to shut down nuclear launches and nuclear facilities. And that they do that, and they, they, they hover over military bases, and that they just shut everything down just to let you know, hey, bitch, you know, I can That's just wild. flip yeah. that switch, so yeah. don't get too fucking squirrely out That's there. That's so weirdos. crazy.